Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of Easy SAP ABOP. Today I'm going to be talking about implicit enhancement spots. So there are two types of enhancements in SAP uh, source code. There are what's known as implicit enhancement spots and there are explicit enhancement spots. Explicit enhancement spots means that there is a section of code right in here that says enhancement spot or begin enhancement, enhancement such and such and that is somewhere that the SAP developers intended for you to add an enhancement. They said, hey, a lot of people might want to enhance this program right at this particular place. So they added an opening in the code, a hook, if you will, so that um, customers and their developers can add additional logic or whatever in there. But there is an option in every report program and every SAP program, actually, to add what's known as an implicit enhancement spot. An implicit enhancement spot means that the enhancement spot is implied. It's implied that you can add code here. So in order to see these, we have to go to edit. We're in the ABAP editor. This is transaction SE38. I've got a program here, Z underscore enhance underscore this, so Z enhance this. We're going to assume that this isn't a custom program anymore. This is an, an SAP standard program. So in this SAP standard program, which is one that I just wrote, we're going to say edit, enhancement operations, and show implicit enhancement operations. So you'll see these comments inserted here. These comments indicate that there is an implicit enhancement spot at this location of the code. So this is nifty, right? We can uh, actually add something to a type declaration. So we could add code wherever there's this um, implicit enhancement comment here. We can add code at the beginning of a form subroutine or at the end of a subroutine. That applies to all subroutines. And then there's even, a, and the, you know, of course, we can add code at the end of a program. So there's um there's even more you know spots like this that are implicit. You can look them up. Uh, I don't know them all off the top of my head, but I think you know ABAP objects support some implicit enhancement spots, like maybe end of method, beginning of method type thing. But look that up, guys. I don't want to steer you in the wrong direction, so uh, check behind me. The ABAP documentation will definitely probably have this. Um, Google will if they don't. So today we're just going to show you how to create an implementation. So you know here we've got start a selection. We've got a form subroutine that gets some data into a global internal table. Uh, subroutine called prepare ALV, which assigns a object reference to a global reference variable for our ALV table and then one more subroutine that just says display data. So what's going to happen in this program if we run it start a selection is going to run it's going to get some data from SPFLI table into our internal table prepare an ALV grid display and display the ALV so just looking at this simple code, there's enhancement spots here, implicit enhancement spots that would actually really be very, very beneficial to, um, to our code. So for example, we could come down here after this select data from GTSPFLI. Say there's one particular bit of data that none of your users ever want to see. So we could come down here after this select statement and remove it from this GTSPFLI. Prepare ALV, uh, up here is not so interesting, but down here we could set some additional, actually, matter of fact, let's do that. Let's go in here to enhancement operations. Oh, we have to actually, if we want to create enhancement implementations, we have to click the enhance button or shift F4. So now when you see this uh, thatched line down the side, that means you're in, in you know, enhancement mode. You see these arrows indicating spots that you can add enhancements. So we'll click on this enhancement spot, this implicit enhancement spot, go to enhancement operations. Well, actually, I think the first thing I want to do is just run this report so you guys can see the output. I have to activate it first. So Z enhance this. We'll go into change. Got some stuff I was working on earlier. We're not going to activate that. We'll uh, do direct processing. So this is the output of the report. Nothing fancy here. But let's say we wanted to change, let's get rid of this client field, for example. Maybe we don't want client. That's a technical field and we should set it as such so our user doesn't see it because they're really not gonna care. 
So we click on Enhance, we go to Edit, Enhancement Options, Show Implicit Enhancement Options, and after we've gotten our reference to our CLS ALV table, go to Enhancement Options, Create Implementation, so it's going to say choose a type for the enhancement, declaration where you're defining some data, or code. So we'll say code. We'll say Z, I always like to do the program name, enhance this, and then I like to do the routine, so prepare ALV. We'll say short text, I'll say adjust field catalog for ALV display. Click on enter. It's going to ask us for a package. I'll choose local object because since this is just a test system and it's not going to be transported. And now we're in change mode. We can see here we can add any sort of call we want in here and that's fine. But what we're going to do here is say gr underscore table get columns get the column object for client which is mandant and set technical uh, I think it takes in yes it takes in a abop bool abop is it abop false no it's abop true set technical abop true so now we've enhanced our report I'm not going to handle this exception just because this shouldn't fail on me, but you should do that. You should definitely handle exceptions. And now, if we run our report, the output is going to be changed. We don't see our client field over here anymore. So that's one option. Um, another one we could do, I'm trying to think, we have a start a selection event down here. At this end of program, we could actually create an enhancement implementation here this is going to be enhancement 2 under the same enhancement implementation you could do it under different enhancement implementations but I'm just going to use the same one here which is Z enhance this underscore prepare ALV typically you'd want to do it under a different uh, implementation but we can actually add stuff in here like initialization you can say message um, I'll just say hello SAP just so we can see this go ahead and activate our code and run it once more again ignore this warning because I'm not handling exceptions like I should up here so now I get this message on initialization hello SAP this is pretty neat if you know you want to add an event in here um, most of SAP programs are going to be module pool programs, so it's not a whole lot of that I can think of off the cuff usefulness there. But you know, maybe you wanted to add, let's say, add a, a form routine down here. So I can just say form do something in form, and in that form, I'll say message in do something form of type information and I could actually come up in here after I set this column to technical I could say perform do something go ahead and check this code activate it really quickly and then we can run it so now after this ALV is being prepared and this column is set to technical we can say do something it's gonna activate this form routine and we should get this output in do something form so that's pretty cool. Um, we can actually do this, you know, before the first subroutine call in a program. Say, for example, there's uh, I don't know some some data that we want the user to input, or there's a, a message we like to display before a tran we know when a transaction is run, something like that. So implicit enhancement options can be depending on the SAP program that you're wanting to modify or add to rather. Very very powerful. They're definitely something to look at. Um, you know, from from this, I might be able to get the uh, the actual selected table row of something, display something to the user, maybe some informative information. So this is a really powerful feature of SAP. Um, the implicit enhancement options, 
because a lot of the ones that people are working with nowadays are going to be, you know, um, business add-ins, baddies, um, the explicit enhancement options. But sometimes what we need is available as an implicit, implicit enhancement option. So um, don't think that that's something that you're not able to do. Like I said, when you, uh, let's back out of this. If I go to display, it's going to show these enhancements right here in the code in SE38's display. It's actually a part of an include internally, so nothing, you know, just, just to know what goes on in the back end. But this will survive an SAP upgrade. It'll survive a service pack upgrade, all that stuff. So SAP thankfully does provide this for us as a way to provide enhancements. Um, if you guys have any sort of questions on implicit enhancements, uh, implementations, um, sorts of things you can do, different parts of you know code that can be enhanced via this method, please feel free to leave a comment. My email is always located in the video description. So if you have a more personal that you know per personal question that doesn't necessarily merit uh, a comment and an entire back and forth thread there, leave me an email and I will get back to you guys as soon as is physically possible one day after work. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this video, give me a like and a subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.